So we've got shiitake mushrooms, mushrooms, uh, coriander, spring onion, cabbage, onion, yeah. finely diced, yeah. uh, carrots, is this garlic? Garlic, yes. Uh, this is pepper? Yeah, white pepper. White pepper, sugar, vermicelli, yeah. and tamarind juice. tamarind juice. And this is from Thailand, then. Yes, this is okay. I can only find it in Thailand. We've got soya sauce. And what are these ones? Oyster sauce? Uh, this one's my first sauce. Oyster sauce, okay, and soya sauce. Okay, so all the ingredients I will note below this video. Right, so let's get started. So what you're doing now is uh, putting in the oil, yes. oil, a little bit of oil. Okay, and you turn the heat up quite high or medium? Medium. Medium heat. First we add the garlic. Yeah. Uh, two garlic. Two garlic. Yeah. Okay. So we need to fry these garlic. You can see the oil is quite yeah. hot. Then we add the shiitake mushrooms when the garlic is a little bit golden. Yeah. So we add garlic first. When it's golden, we add the shiitake mushrooms. Then we add the onions. Yeah, to keep the flavor. Yeah, to keep the flavor. Yeah. It's already smelling really nice. Now we can add the normal mushrooms. Now you can add the other mushrooms. So like champignon curry. Yeah. Now the cabbage and the carrots. So it's pretty fast, nothing stays in the oil too long. Okay, so now we just put the sauce in. It's and what sauce is that? Uh, soya. Soya sauce. You can put everything in the soya. Is that soya sauce too? Uh, oyster sauce. Soya sauce. Oyster sauce. No. Soya and then oyster and then soybean. Soybean. Okay, and this is uh, the tamarind. tamarind juice. Sugar. Now the sugar. How much sugar? Uh, Twenty gram. 20 grams? Yes. This is 5 grams. And 5 grams of pepper. And now the vermicelli. And we just mix it together, as you can see. Not too long. No. 10 minutes. You need to heat a little bit. Yes, in a medium heat. Add a little water, okay. Not get dry. Okay, put, add a little bit of water so it doesn't get too dry on medium heat. Now, uh, high. And now high heat. So maximum heat for about how many minutes? Yeah. One, two, 45 seconds. 45 seconds, okay. So you're on high heat, 45 seconds. You, done. you turn it off here and you put the Coriander, coriander, and spring onion. Okay, after 45 seconds on high heat, turn the heat off, yes. and we add spring onion and the coriander in last. We add, we put it into the fridge now for one or two minutes, not very long, and then we will show you how to make the spring roll. So now we're going to make the spring rolls. We put it in the fridge to cool down. In this bowl, we've got some tapioca. Uh, it's a powder. You need one tablespoon of tapioca with 300 milliliters of water and you mix it together and we'll show you why you need that in just a few minutes time. We've also got some spring roll pastries here. So you take your spring roll pastry. What we're going to do here is have our ingredients. Depends on the size. Depends on the size. <laughs> if you want a big fat yeah, you want spring big roll, you need to put a lot in. If you want a small one, it's really you that decides how much you want, okay? So we put it in like a diamond. Yes, roll. it's there, here. Okay. Roll, back to the medium. Yeah. And stop. So in the middle, you stop and then you kind of fold it like yeah. a like a little present. Yes. Looks like an envelope. Okay. Yeah. And then you keep rolling. Okay. Ah, this is where it comes yeah. in, okay? For it to stick. Tapioca. Yeah. So you put a little bit of tapioca just on the top. Okay. Can I give it a go? Can I try? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, if I remember rightly, wait for you. Okay, so it's like this, yes, like a diamond. You, you know how to make sushi? Yeah. How you make sushi? Yeah. Push it like that, and then you roll yes. it. Okay, you roll it in the middle, if yes. you remember. Yeah, and then we 
fold it over to make like an envelope shape. Yes. So we've all sent a letter, we all know what an envelope looks like. Yeah. Yeah. You roll it yeah. again and again until we've got like a little yeah. take a little bit of tapioca. Quite a generous amount on the top then I guess for it to stick, yeah? Because if you do not put this when we fry it. Ah, okay. Like so this is really important because yeah. when you fry it, it'll open and you'll have. Yeah. No, I'm not going to say. Hey, come uh, on. Uh, I'm in the wrong. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the wrong job here. <laughs> Yagma, give me a job <laughs> in, the, in the kitchen. <laughs> Just okay. be careful. You see, bend like that. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, the oil can go inside. Uh, that's why we have to close the. So oh, scratch that, Yagma. Mine, um, so Pam just pointed this out to me. If there's something open here, like mine, yeah. when you put it in the oil, it'll yeah. open and you'll have just like all your ingredients all over the, yeah, the all oil. over the pan. So I didn't put enough of this stuff on it. You really need to make sure that it's closed. Okay, so that's, okay. That's what it should look like, closed, okay? Now I can work in the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We love you.